Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, a what I eat in a day, highly requested video. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna just show you what I eat throughout a whole day. So I am starting my days with fresh water. I keep on my nightstand. I always just take a couple sips of that and then I will head downstairs to boil some hot water. I've been trying to get back into the habit of having hot water with lemon in the morning because it is so good for you. It's good for cleansing and digestion for your skin. It's just a very good habit to add into your diet. So I have been trying to do so now that I've been waking up a bit earlier than usual. Guys, I am trying to get up earlier than usual um, and also I've been trying to get back into the habit of drinking um, hot water with lemon the moment I wake up. It's really good for you. Um, it helps you cleanse, it helps you digest, it helps with a lot of things in your body um, and I used to do it back in Louisiana so I want to get back into it so I've been trying to do it and we've been doing good um, I usually use lemon but I'm out of lemon so I use lime I'm actually gonna go pick up lemons after I drop pee off and now I'm gonna go ahead and make um, Nespresso coffee and leave it in the fridge kind of like ice it so I can show you a recipe when I get back you certainly don't need to do a double espresso you could do regular coffee or if you don't have an espresso machine you could just brew a regular pot of coffee did a double shot you could either put it in the fridge so it gets colder faster or you could um, leave it hanging out if you want and then I'll show you what I've been drinking in the morning hi guys okay so I just dropped pee off I finished my water with lemon on the way there and now I'm back home um, and I am gonna go ahead and do a, a workout so first before my workout I always like to uh, drink a coffee or have something in my stomach but not necessarily food um, and I've recently found the perfect drink to have before my workout. It's so yummy, so I'm gonna share it with you guys. Um, I recently found this chocolate hazelnut Premier Protein Smooth and Creamy Shake with oats. You guys know I already love Premier. I make all of my after workout shakes with Premier or like smoothies. Um, I absolutely love them. But I recently partnered with them and I am trying their new product, which is this one. And this is what it looks like. These are amazing. I'm gonna show you a quick little recipe that I've been doing with them uh, uh, for a uh, pre-workout morning kind of shake. Uh, Tone gets up super early every morning. He leaves the house around 5.30 and he's been taking these. He's not a breakfast person. He usually won't eat until lunch, but he is actually loving these as well. So he'll just take one in the morning and have it uh, after her, his workout. And he's like, this keep me really full. And they actually do. So I've been doing this before workouts because it does make you nice and full put something in your stomach and what I do is I mix it with some nice coffee so you also get energy so what I love the most about this is that they are 20 grams of protein I've been trying to stick to higher protein low carb a diet uh, I'm not keto but I do like to keep the low the the carb count low at least during the week so this one has 20 grams of protein it only has one gram of sugar um, and it has seven grams of fiber it is very low fat and it also has 24 vitamins and minerals so it's something that is good for you um, and it tastes like it's not good for you because it tastes so so good so let's just go ahead and um, see the recipe that I have going on here it will give you energy and it'll keep you full Okay, so no rocket science here, but I'm sharing what I do. I just grab my iced coffee or espresso, pour it over a cup of ice, and then you just give your protein shake a good shake, and then you're just gonna go ahead and pour that over your ice and coffee mixture. Um, I am using my Ninja blender to do this. You don't need to use a blender at all. You could just do it over ice. If I am in a rush, I usually would just put this over ice and drink it like that. It's also very good. But what I like about the blender is that it makes it super smooth and it gives it that nice kind of like frozen cocoa taste and texture so I really love this so if I'm home and I have the time I will use a blender if not I'll just do it over ice and then the whipped cream is optional of course but it just makes you feel like you're having this super fancy Starbucks drink and it's delicious okay guys so there you have it this is what my drink looks like uh, it's so freaking good. I wish you guys could taste it. Um, this bottle will usually last me two days. I usually ha I'll do half and half um, just because it does make a lot. And it also depends on how much coffee you uh, are putting in. But it tastes so good. Even if you don't like coffee, you can barely taste the coffee. 
and it just tastes like chocolate milk it tastes like a delicious creamy chocolate milk you could also just do it over ice sometimes if i'm being really lazy i'll do it over ice the whipped cream is of course optional I also like to do this in the afternoons as a pick me up if we don't get to go to grab coffee outside like this is a good treat to have at home so also if you're trying to keep your figure and trying to be healthier this is a great option for you again super easy and so freaking good um so definitely try it out you guys if you are at the grocery store make sure you pick it up give it a try let me know how you like it tag me if you do or leave me a comment below if you've tried it before it's so so yummy so if you guys want breakfast these are great uh we love them they're gluten free they're 70 calories and have five grams of protein uh i get this from a target they're super yummy sometimes i make them sometimes i make egg whites uh but these are super great you just pop in in the microwave for a couple of minutes and then you all good to go actually for a couple of seconds and they are very very good we discovered these when we went to Disney World. We got them for the hotel room and have been obsessed with them ever since. They are so good and take 45 seconds to make. At this time, I just got Penelope from school and we are ready to have some lunch. So I am making lunch for both of us. She loves avocado toast. It's probably one of her favorite things. We do this a lot for breakfast, but also for lunch. So today she requested some. All I do is uh, mash up my avocado and then I add the everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's is our favorite. I just toast some bread and there you have it. So here's a piece of lunch. She wanted an avocado toast and she'll probably have, do you want strawberries? Yeah? And some strawberries, I'm gonna cut her. And now I'm gonna use the rest of avocado for myself and show you what I do. Okay, so because I'm trying to stay away from um, a lot of carbs, I got this uh, mini or petite romaine hearts. I'm gonna use some cheese and turkey and some of this avocado and I'm gonna make some quick wraps. I also like to do this over um, rice cakes, plain rice cakes or lightly salted rice cakes, but I don't have any right now, so I'm doing it on the lettuce. Okay, so for my lunch, I grab two of the petite leaves. I wash them and dry them really good. And then I am using the leftover avocado from Penelope's Toast as a spread. So I went ahead and put that on. Then I grab a piece of cheese. This is provolone cheese is the one I like to get. Cut it in half and put it on each side. And then I am going to go ahead and add some turkey. I also like to do this with avocado. It's really, I mean, tuna. It's really, really good. But um, this is a lean turkey and i get it uh, cut really thin so i just cut some pieces off and put it on top and then to finish it off i added some sliced tomato hey guys so there you have it it's kind of like little turkey clubs on a lettuce or lettuce wraps um, and if you're into sauces like I am, this dressing is really good. Um, it's yogurt dressing. It's only 40 calories per, I think, tablespoon, two tablespoons. So it's pretty good. So if you want to add a little flavor or you just want to add a sauce or maybe like a dipping sauce, you could use this. It's really good. I usually get their avocado ranch or their cilantro one and they're really good. But this time I'm trying the honey mustard. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on the top and then we're ready to eat. Here's lunch. Penelope is almost done with her. Her avocado toast and I'm about to dig into this I have some water and these are just my supplements that I like to take at this time it's we are back home and um Hello. Penelope's having a snack she having an m, &M yogurt right yeah, for mom. I know you do uh, she's having an m, m yogurt and I need a little pick-me-up so I am having the rest of my oatmeal um shake with uh another actually a single shot um and then i am having a cup of popcorn mini pop with butter this is 43 calories per cup so i'm just having a cup i'm not too hungry but i don't want to be starving for dinner because then i'll eat way more than i should and this kind of like this helps with my sweet tooth this help helps with my salty tooth nice dinner dinner Tonight's dinner is going to be a carbless dinner. I've shared this recipe with you guys before. It's one of my favorites. I do this pretty often, but I actually haven't done it for a bit. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and share with you what I'm gonna do. 
Okay, so I have a spaghetti squash I grabbed from the grocery store a few, maybe last week. Um, I let it just kind of get ripe because it was not, it was way more green. So I think this is ready to be cooked. So I have one of those. Uh, to that, I'll be adding some cherry tomatoes and onion and mozzarella pearls. And then for extra veggies, we are going to go ahead and add also some... Um, the boxes spring mix but I actually use all the spring mix and I put uh, the spinach Whoa, sorry some technical difficulties this is actually um, baby spinach um, it's just that I use the box of the spring mix put my bag baby spinach in there when the spring mix was done so that's what we're doing so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that and tell you what I do okay so first thing you want to do is uh, preheat your oven to 400 and we're gonna take care of the spaghetti squash before anything else this is a super easy meal the only thing is that you do have to cook the spaghetti squash ahead of time um, for 40 minutes. So make sure you keep that in mind. Um, other than that, everything else is super simple and easy, but this guy does have to cook. So, so because this takes the longest, you want to take care of your squash first. So first thing you do is cut it in half. If it's ripe, it'll be super easy to cut. If it's not, um, it might take you a bit. You could pop it in the microwave for five minutes and it'll make it softer. But once you have it cut, you want to get rid of all the seeds. You just grab a spoon and scrape them, how I'm showing you here. They come off super easily. And then you know me, I'm trying to save any extra messes. So I put some aluminum foil on a baking sheet and then I just set my spaghetti squash facing up. I drizzle some, some olive oil, I'll sat on pepper and some garlic powder and they're ready to go in the oven. I know some people put them face down with a little bit of water. This has always worked for me, so that's the way I do it, and they turn out always so good. So when that happens, I am slicing my cherry tomatoes and chopping up some onion. Okay, so while my squash is cooking, I want to show you guys my little gadget that I got that we're all obsessed with. Um, if you saw my Instagram, you probably saw this, but it looks like a flat heron uh, or like a, um, what's it called, crimper, but it's actually to seal food. Uh, this one was really cheap. There was one that like you don't have to plug in. This one you have to plug in, but it gets hot really quick. Um, this one was just really affordable and I have been using it to seal all packages. And let me tell you something, I have been saving a lot on food because before, Nobody will close them right. And if I had no clips, and even with clips, I feel like it just wouldn't close right. And now, with this, all you do is, well, you have to wait for it to get hot. But once it gets hot, you just go around. I just cut the bags and then I seal them. I have sealed all of my chip bags. I just go ahead and seal them after I use them. And the food stays fresh. And you just open it like a brand new package once you are ready to eat. So it works really nice. There you go. There you go. I just go around like this. You do want to like cut the bag because if not, it's just really hard. And like I feel like it's a waste to have all of that. And then depending on the plastic, like if it's like a plastic plastic, not this metallic plastic, Definitely uh, don't do it for as long because it would like really melt. But there you go. It's sealed, it's good. Now you can put it away. You know what this is the best for? For those fridge stuff because you don't put clips. So it like makes life so much easier when you just do this. And then you don't have peas all over your freezer. This is good for the fridge stuff, it's amazing. So once my spaghetti squash is about halfway done, I'm gonna grab a deep pan. Um, I'll drizzle some olive oil and I'm gonna start cooking my onions. You just wanna cook those or saute them until they're golden brown and soft. Once you've cooked your onions for about three or four minutes, you're gonna go ahead and add your tomatoes and then you'll be adding all of your seasonings. So for this, I use garlic powder, of course. I use some uh, salt and pepper and some Italian seasoning. Um, that's all you do. I don't have uh, really measurements for it. I never use measurements, but I just eyeball it. And then the last thing that I added and I made it a little different this time is I did a balsamic glaze. Usually I would do balsamic vinegar with some honey, but I figured this was just perfect and it actually turned out super good. Okay, so this is what it should look like. 
um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the spinach to this. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to help it steam and then add my spinach. So once your mixture is nice and cooked, I went ahead and added about a third of a cup of water just to help the spinach um, steam faster and also make it a little bit saucier. Then I just went ahead and added my baby spinach. I did drizzle a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic powder and just mix those up. So once your squash is done, you wanna take it out. You grab a fork and just kind of like go in with the fork and it will come out like spaghetti. That's why it's called spaghetti squash in case you guys didn't know. Um, but then I grab that mixture and just add it to my pan and mix it with my onions and tomatoes. This is what your mixture should look like. Um, I know it doesn't look very appetizing, but trust me when I say it's so yummy. So now we're gonna go ahead and fill up our boats, add some cheese, and pop these babies back in the oven. You really don't need to let the mixture cook because both things are already cooked. So once you mix everything together, you're gonna fill up your boats. You're gonna start by doing a layer of the mixture and then a layer of the mozzarella pearls, and then so on until you fill it up to the top. Last, I like to top it off with a sprinkle of pecorino romano or parmesan, whichever one you have. I just like the way that it tastes and the way that it kind of like cooks off in the oven. And then you're gonna go ahead and pop them back in the oven until the cheese okay, melts. Okay, so while the spaghetti squash is in the oven waiting for the cheese to melt, I'm gonna go ahead and make a salad. I was really in the mood for some Caesar salad, so we're gonna be using the creamy Caesar dressing. I've never had it, but like I said, I had other dressings from them and they're really good. I'm gonna use some romaine, but I'm also going to be mixing it with some spring mix just to make it a little healthier. And I am gonna go ahead and add a little bit of croutons, garlic croutons, just because we're doing low carb, but a couple croutons won't hurt anybody just because I really want like a real Caesar. Um, and I might add some cucumber in there. I like to do like a lot of veggies uh, or add as many veggies as I can to dinner. So this is a great way. We always try to have salad, it's good for you. And we love salads. Okay, for my Caesar salad, pretty standard. I just grab some of the leaves, wash them, and I am drying them really good. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and chop them up. The only thing that I guess I'm doing differently is I am adding some of this seedless cucumber. I love the crunch that it gives it. It gives more um, vegetables, and also Penelope loves these little cucumbers. So once I have everything in the bowl, I did add some spring mix as well, just because, again, um, romaine lettuce doesn't have a lot of nutritional factor to it so i added some spring mix and i think baby spinach as well and then i just went ahead and added my croutons and a sprinkle of pecorino romano again just because the way it tastes is so good and also i gotta say this uh dressing it's super yummy Okay guys, the boats are out. I put them to broil for about a minute just so they will get a little bit more brown, but this is what they look like. They're so good. And here's our salad. And now we are ready to eat. Okay, dinner was totally amazing. And then for a sweet treat, I like to eat these dippers, which are uh, chocolate covered banana slices. They are only 100 calories and they're so good. Hi guys, it is nighttime and we are getting ready to go up to bed. But um, before I go to bed, I am having some tea. I am not a huge tea drinker, uh, but I've been trying to get into the habit. So that also goes with the hot water in the morning. Um, tea just kind of helps you digest like hot water does. Uh, so I've been doing little chamomile with lemon. I don't really like honey or anything sweet in my tea. So that's just how I drink it. Um, this cup just keeps it warm for a long time because if I take it upstairs and set it on my nightstand and then just like come back to it It's usually just cold. It's so cold here um, But yeah, so I have it up uh, But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video Let me know if you want to see more of this type of videos of what I eat in a day um, And I'll be happy to share um let me know if you try any of the recipes if you do them at your house tag me on instagram and also make sure you check out the premier protein new shake i linked it down below um they're so good and i'm so glad i found them uh and i'm sorry for my skin i'm like peeling really really bad but i'll see you guys on my next video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet